let the truth be known. Politics area, you know she have it. Never had a boring moment in my life. She's the voice of the Caribbean. Back as I remember. Always made my light shine Be in the right place at the right time New York till we see fight crime Live good and have a nice time Don't lock off the pipeline Cause I'm quite fine Here's yeah, the king of fire keeping locked to Abel TV New York City, blaze up! All right, we're here in studio Welcome back to the Avil Show Here in the studio we have the undisputed No other than the one and only Mr. Ed Robinson Known for <laughs> knocking Been knocking on Heaven's door and so right now, tonight, we're not going to talk about knocking on heaven's door. Tonight, I want to get a little feedback of Ed Robinson and where he's going, because I heard you, Ed, mm -hmm. one of your songs say, I feel like letting go. <laughs> what, what are you letting go from? That's my question to you right now. Well, like I said, look like another love TKO, you know, so can't take the word knockout. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's a love thing. It's a love thing. Yeah, man. Straight right. up love thing, man. Okay, so I guess that's why I had to ask. But I understand that you have a new release coming out, or is it out already? As a matter of fact, I have a couple of new releases. Um, but there's like one and t or two that we're focusing on right now. Okay. We're focusing on um, Suddenly, which is an acoustic version of um, if anybody in, um, around here young enough to remember Billy Ocean. Of course. Right. So um, I, I remake that one as a as an acoustic version, just me and um, acoustic guitar, you know. Okay. So that's one of the one of the ones we're putting out right now, and uh, we're focusing on. And then we're focusing on this um, rhythm called the Wet Sugar Rhythm, which is um, the Teddy Pendergrass remake of TKL. Okay. And is there anyone else with you doing that, or is yes, just it's me, Richie Stevens, I think um, Bushman. Mm-hmm. Sanchez and uh, and I say Mr. Freddie McGregor. So none of Freddie and none of the other artists feel like letting go. <laughs> none of them is letting go. None of us sing some great songs. This oh. is like one of the, it's like a like a what do you call it EP. Okay. But there's um five songs on it that I hear so far, and they're like seriously wicked, you know. And as wicked as they are, yeah. you think you could drop one at me right oh, now? Lord. I, I think I need to hear the think I better let it go. Okay. I want to understand Looking why. Looking back over the years, I think, I, you know. I, 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 I wonder if you can drop, <laughs> drop something on me right but now. But the best, so get ready, because I am about to take you into the artist spotlight. Ooh, oh, yeah. I guess I shed some tears oh, yeah. Told myself time and time again This time I'm gonna win But another fight Things ain't right I'm losing again Takes a fool to lose twice And start all over again Whoa. I think I better let it go Let it go baby Looks like another love TKO whoa, 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 whoa. I think I better let it go Looks like another love TKO No, you're up, no, we're setting up this record so it's like when it when it when it when it hit mainstream, mm -hmm. I think it will be will be available on um, iTunes and Spotify and you know all the streaming stuff and we're really, really pushing for people to start streaming these records. You know, because nowadays, you know, you know how the business is these days. Mm -hmm. It's not our father's business anymore. Right. You know, these days when you when some when you send somebody M P three, like you send a reader this jacket MP3. Yeah. If you send out fifty thousand MP trees, and they played 50 million times. No residual, no returns. Okay. If, if 50,000 people go on Spotify and play that record, every artist is residual to their pocket. Their bank account shines. So we're asking all of the DJs, them and all of the disc jockey, whatever you call yourself, mm -hmm. on radio, you know, even, I mean, it's kind of 
rough for acts, but even party DJs yeah. stream the records. Okay, but on Spotify. No, not just Spotify. You have um But which one you you, you said your residual income, that's what we every about. streaming service. Every oh, okay. major streaming service. Okay. The artists get paid from it. Okay. You know, so this is where the business is. Cause like I said, it's not our mother and our father and our grandfather record business anymore. Okay. This so is, what about the C D and album and all that? Do you think that's fading I'm out? I'm not even too sure what is a CD. Okay. Anymore. Because who does a CD anymore? You know? That's yes, what I'm trying to figure yes, out. Yes, vinyl record mm -hmm. is a big thing still in Europe. Okay. Major, major, big, big thing. But, I mean, these days to really go and get into vinyl, it costs a lot of money to put it out. So we, we don't really have a record company behind our stuff again because record companies are a thing of the past. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So nowadays, most reggae artists, majority of us, is all independent now. So you stream, you put the record out. You can give, you can put the record up for, 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 for people to download off of, off of the internet for free, as long as it play on the internet. There's a company called Sound Exchange that collect money for you. Mm -hmm. Once you as an artist join Sound Exchange, you're good. Sound Exchange. Sound Exchange collect all your money from where it stream, the YouTube thing, the the the, the Spotify thing, mm -hmm. all streaming services. Okay. And that's where we as artists make money from. Put it this way, before streaming services, I probably never see more than about ten dollars from any record. Mm -hmm. Biggest record knocking on heaven's door, I've never seen a dollar from it. Okay. In terms of sale. Knocking on heaven's door. Knocking on heaven's door. Still today mm -hmm. my biggest record. I mean I have a record that comes surpass it in terms of income to my pocket and my bank account. No. Knock, knock, knocking on a heaven's door, boy. Knock, knock, knocking on a heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on a heaven's door, boy. Knock, knock, knocking on a heaven's door. Said I gotta put my guns to the ground, yeah. Good for, for me to talk to you as a professional in yeah. the business because I think a lot of artists need to hear this. Because me, myself, I always wonder how the artists make money. The information is out there, you know. It's not like it's hidden from nobody. It's out there. Mm -hmm. But a lot of us don't really... If you remember that artists like myself, we're not business people. Okay. I have to, like, take, a, take away probably three or four days of my week from the studio mm -hmm. to really concentrate on the business side, which I hate. So that's okay. why, you know... We have people who does that okay. in our life now. You know, but the truth is, we're creative people. We don't have time for talk numbers and business, right. which is not even a good thing, to be honest with you, because it take away from your creative time. It's getting dark, too dark to see. I feel I'm a knocking on heaven's door. And right 